All right, welcome to part 63 of the random beers that are taking up space in my fridge. This time I'm bringing to you Griffon Ale Russe, or uh, Red Ale from the McCausland Brewery in, uh, in Quebec. Let's see, I got this in Nova Scotia, bought one of those, <coughs> those tasters packs. We don't get them up here in New Brunswick. Um, the taster pack had four different types of beer, and it had the, uh, the, the their pale, the the Saint Ambroise pale ale. They had the the Saint Ambroise um, apricot wheat. They had and they had the Griffin red and the Griffin blonde, extra blonde or pale. Um, from what I've been told, this is marketed as a uh, like a lower quality red red beer, um, but. Uh, it doesn't turn out to be too bad. Uh, the, the, a lot of people who might watch this review might know uh, the this particular company is producing beers like McCausland's uh, Oatmeal Stout, and uh, of course their Apricot Wheat's pretty famous too. Um, yeah, so yeah, I basically I don't get this one here. So uh, let's give it a shot. Now yeah, it's a I believe it's a twist off, but yeah, nice little pour here. Not even a finger ahead. I poured it pretty gently though. Hmm. As far as reddish goes, that's pretty dark. That's um it's it's clear. Almost. It's uh pretty clear. The head's kind of kind of an off white creamy kind of appearance. It's Although there's not much head, and I doubt that's going to last very long. Ooh, but it's got some nice lacing, if you can see that sticking to the sides of the glass. Yeah, it looks pretty good. As for its color, it's like a toffee red. Amber. Deep amber. Oh, looks pretty, but uh, head's kind of disappointing. But whatever. Head doesn't last forever. All things don't have... All things... Can't last forever. Anyway, let's uh, give it a sniff. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that's that's nice. That's it's got some nice um, nice caramel notes to that. That's. Oh man, it comes right out. Oh, that's that's that smells good. Um. Almost got a, like a, a creamy sensation, a creamy smell to it, like coffee cream would. Look, I'm not really a milky, but almost, almost lactic, caramel, and maybe trace amounts of some kind of hops. Mainly malt, caramel. That that smells really good. That's oof. Let's give it a sip. Oh my. Ooh. Mildly bitter in the back of the throat. Very noticeable caramel taste. Caramel toffee. Bit of a creamy sensation going down the back of the throat. Corn. Hints of corn come out in the aftertaste. Wow, that's pretty good. Man, they, if they market that as a cheap beer, wow, that's that's pretty impressive. Uh, if they're pitching that as a like a just a, a mediocre swill, that's no mediocre swill. Oh, I wish this was here. That's delicious. Easy four out of five. That's wow. Yeah, mouth feels. There's like a little bit of sourness in the back, too. Mouth feels medium, light, light medium. But it sticks to your mouth. And finish is kind of dry. 
that's pretty nice yeah four to five